Welcome to the Life Touch Yearbook Training Series. In this episode, you'll learn how to edit where portraits appear in a portrait panel. This could be helpful when you want portraits to wrap around other page elements instead of overlapping them. Here we have a page spread open in Page Builder. You can see that I have a portrait panel where I'd like to flow a portrait group, but in the back, you can also see an image of our mascot. Let's flow a portrait group to this panel and see how it looks. I'm going to click, drag, and drop this portrait group of nine students into the panel. Okay, so here you can see the portraits have been added on top of the mascot. Instead, we'd like them to wrap around the mascot. Let's make that change together. We're going to select the portrait panel by clicking on it. Next, we'll click Tools, and then select Edit Image Containers. Do you see all those little check boxes in the upper left-hand corner of each portrait? That's what's going to allow us to turn off each specific placeholder. When a placeholder is turned off, portraits will automatically flow to the next available placeholder. Take a look. Let's uncheck all the placeholders that are overlapping the image of the mascot. There. Now we'll click off the panel. Anywhere on the canvas is fine. And you see the portraits have reflowed around the image of the mascot. Much better looking. If we want to turn a placeholder back on, we'll just go back into Tools, select Edit Image Containers again, and reselect the placeholders we'd like to activate. Okay, let's turn that placeholder back off. We'll click Save to save our work. And that's how to edit where portraits appear in a portrait panel. For more info on working with portrait panels, including editing individual portraits in a panel, check out our other episodes. Happy yearbooking!